How's everybody doing today? My name is Mr. LeBurge slash Mr. L. If you're watching this, you are in my computer literacy class, either for the fall semester or the spring semester. Uh, this class is only a half semester long. So fall goes from September to January. And then uh, the spring one goes from February all the way to June. So this year we're using a new type of teaching method where teachers might pre-record themselves like I'm doing right now and uploading the videos to a website called Edpuzzle, which we will talk about later and sign up for. Edpuzzle allows you to watch the lessons that I record and slow it down to your pace, or maybe you wanna move ahead and go on to the next lesson. So these videos will help you kind of understand the topics that we'll talk about in computer class and allow you to maybe make up any work or go ahead with work. Within these videos, there might be sometimes little notes or multiple choice questions that you might have to answer or just some fun facts uh, about what we're learning. Now, this is the first time that I've ever done this, uh, record a lesson. So I apologize ahead of time if this is a little bit awkward at times or if I get any little awkward gaps. Um, but having these videos on hand for you allows you to go back and review any of the material that maybe you weren't sure of the first time we have a couple projects later on in the class and i think having these videos pre-recorded allows you to not only study for quizzes but help you on those activities and projects also you know things come up during the year maybe you're sick maybe you have a family emergency uh dentist doctor's appointment or even you know covid still happening so you never know what's going to happen so having these on hand at any time whether you're in school or at home i think is a huge benefit uh, to your education all right, so first things first, we're gonna go into our Schoology accounts. Uh, if you're a new student here, I'll take you through the process of how to log in and look at your courses. Uh, so you're gonna open up your web browser, which is either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So I'm gonna click on Google Chrome, gonna open it up here, and I'm gonna type in at the top, we call this the web address bar, uh, lynnschools.schoology.com. Now here you're going to type in your school email address. So mine is laburgr at lenschools.org. Hit next. And then I'm going to type in my password and hit sign in. Now, if you've never used uh, this website before, it's going to ask if you want to set up a phone number or an email address for security purposes. I highly recommend you use your phone number and your home email address. So I wouldn't use my Lynn Schools address as my email. I would use my um, home email address such as blank, blank, blank at gmail.com, okay? So that way, if you ever get locked out of your account, you have the backup email address to send the password to to sign you back in. I always like to stay signed in, so I'm gonna click this checkbox, hit yes. All right, so once you sign in, uh, Schoology Desktop will appear. This is where our school updates will occur. Our principal Mauro was our principal last year, but this year we have uh, Dr. Braga, which is our new principal here at Lane English High School. Uh, so you'll see some updates depending on what the school's doing. Um, sometimes you'll see it from other teachers or you'll see it from our social worker or school counselors. So the next thing you wanna do to get to my class is you're gonna go to courses and yours is going to look a lot different than mine. Mine only shows my homeroom and then the classes that I teach. So click on your period classes. Uh, I'm just going to use period A as an example right here. I'm going to click right on there. So whenever you click on my classroom, I suggest that you click the updates button on the left right here and see if I typed in any messages for that day or for that week. If I'm ever sick, or not in class for that day, I would go to the updates first just to see if I left a message for you guys. All right, so we're gonna go back to my PowerPoint now. Okay, so I'm gonna open that back up. 